Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm always known as Snow Eagle. And previously, I've been posting up uh, videos about my Sunny Jesus Eagle campaign. But today, I'm going to do something a little bit different just to help people out who are traveling abroad for further studies, further studies, and just love this world. But anyway, this is very important applying for your student visa. Now, Depending on which um, consulate or embassy you go to, you'll get a little, you know, one pager or two pager, which looks something like this, with all the requirements for the visa written on it. Um, the truth is, they'll give you this list, but what they actually have to give you is something which looks like this. Uh, that's because. Some of the requirements are not actually written on the list. Or they'll say something like, we need you to get your education certificate, your medical certificate, and your certificate of good conduct duly certified. What does that mean? Because <laughs> the devil is in the detail, people. Duly certified means you have to go to a specific number of registries or a specific number of offices with your documents in order for them to be duly certified. For example, if you take your education certificates, you have to go with three of them, KCPE, KCSE, and your undergraduate diploma, both in original and photocopy forms. Go directly to the Ministry of Education, <laughs> explain to them that you need them to be certified, and they will do that for you. And once you've done that, you will have then to go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs with that bundle of documents. Then secondly is your medical certificate. So in order to get your medical certificate, you first need to go to a doctor. Not a witch doctor, not a clinic, not some random person in the hood who gives you advice on medicine, but an actual doctor. And this is very important because you need it for a few of the steps. So once you go to hospital, they'll have probably a list of what they call um, diseases that constitute a danger to public health, which you need to be tested for. And once they do that and your tests come out negative, then they'll give you, the doctor will give you a letter which includes his practice number. I think every doctor has a specific practice number. And then you'll have to take that letter and all your results to the medical board. Well, right now I'm not so sure where the medical board is or if it's moved around. But the thing is, you have to take all those documents first to the medical board, carry with you, I think it was about 4,000 Kenyan bob, um, in order for those documents to be certified, then once you do that, you will have to go back to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs with your bundle of documents so that they can certify it. Now, next thing is a certificate of good conduct. Now, a certificate of good conduct is gotten from the police, the CID to be specific. It will take you about 1,000 bob to do it. You only need one copy of it. And so long as you have the original copy, then you can go directly to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs where it will be duly certified. Now, here's the thing they don't tell you about the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. In order for your documents to be certified, duly certified, you have to pay a certain fee. Now, depending on how many documents they are or how many pages, the fee varies. So what I'd say is put aside maybe about... 15 to 20,000 bob, which will help you go through the entire process of getting all your documents certified and hopefully, you know, just hope for the best once you take them to the embassy or consulate involved. So I hope these tips help. Don't be Alana like I was and good luck with your visa application. Bye-bye.